What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm going to share some of the stuff that sold on eBay. So far I only have eBay orders, nothing on Poshmark sold yet. So I'm going to definitely try and share my closet at least a couple times today because Poshmark sales for me have been super slow. So like I said, I'm going to try to share it, try to do some activity. I might list a couple items on there as well, but for the most part it's really just eBay sales that's, that's going out today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing going out is this pair of Nike Air Vapor Max. These are the 2019s. Pink and white colorway size 6 for women. These are really dope. I picked these up from Ross and I believe these were $49.99. Then they sold on eBay for 100 bucks. And the reason why I love selling shoes for over 100 bucks, and that's particularly athletic shoes, is because you save a ton of money on, on fees. You only have to pay the PayPal fee and that's just about 3%. So that's why I like to sell shoes on eBay and I made a decent amount of profit on these. These were actually sitting for a while so probably if it wasn't a larger size these might have done a lot better but since it was a size 6 it was a little tough. But it is what it is. I'm still glad that these are going out and you know making some decent profit on these. Next item going out is this pair of shorts from the brand Cool. These are like some hiking shorts. Uh, got some cargo pockets on here and I love selling this brand. Cool was definitely one of my favorite brands to sell when I was in Cali. I would find this at least a few times a week and this one was in a size 32 uh, barely any problems with this it did have like a minor minor stain on here but for the most part cool is one of those brands that even if it does have say a minor little floor a little hole it'll still sell for at least 30 bucks so that's what this one sold for like I said it did have a minor minor stain on here and I picked this one up for only three or four bucks so this was definitely a really good sale for me if you guys aren't familiar with this brand I'll show you the logo you could get a close-up of that but anytime I see anything from this brand either men's or women's I usually always pick it up and it usually sells pretty quickly this one sold within about two or three weeks next up we got this blazer from the brand Daniel Cremieux and this was actually a surprise for me because blazers have not been selling Selling that well for me at all but I think because this one is actually constructed from Laurel Piano fabric made this one a little more appealing a little more enticing for buyers and I had this listed for 40 bucks I got a best offer of 30 plus shipping and I just went ahead and accepted that one because like I said blazers have not been selling for me that well I have a couple bins full of blazers some are priced uh, moderately to anywhere between 30 and 50 bucks then of course I have some higher end ones that's in the hundreds but so far blazers are moving very very slow and that's the norm around this time of the year blazers don't really sell that well especially since it's getting closer to summer but this one is definitely more of a summer fabric more spring and summer ready so this one is going out today and hopefully the rest of these blazers uh, hopefully I'm done with these by the end of the year but there's going to be very very uh, limited amount of brands I'll be picking up from now on I used to grab a ton of blazers but I'm kind of overselling clothes at this point so I'll just wait it out until the right buyers come along but if you guys can find anything from Daniel Cremieux that's a Laurel Piana expect anywhere between you know maybe 40 to 50 bucks I just took a best offer on this one for 30. This jersey was a really quick sale I picked this one up from Burlington when Burlington was 50% uh, off I'm not sure if they're still doing that 50% off sale but the one in my area opened up last weekend and I picked this jersey up for about eight dollars and it sold for I think 30 bucks uh, either 30 or $39.99 I'll put the screenshot up on the screen but this one is in a size medium and I probably would have kept this one if it was a size small but the medium fit me a little too long but these jerseys actually mimic the UNC the Chicago uh, Jordan ones that came out a couple months ago um, let me just show you guys the back of this one really quickly so like I said it mimics those Jordans perfectly it has the bread colorway in the front and then it has the blue and black that UNC blue in the back of it so if somebody that's picking this one up it probably is going to somebody that owns those UNC the Chicago's it might be picking them up later on or they might just really like the jersey and they don't care about those shoes but either way I'm glad these sold this quickly I was kind of hesitant at first because I thought it was going to be flooded but this one sold really quick and next up we got this fight night round two on the xbox this is actually the platinum hits and i was telling you guys in a previous video gaming related stuff is selling like crazy this same exact game probably was selling for like two bucks a few months ago but now people are buying up video games like crazy and this one sold for nine dollars so not a ton of profit but just a really really quick turnaround so i was glad about that and this is actually sitting in my death pile for a while so i'm just glad to see it going so quickly next thing going out is this brand new in the package this yahtzee game i was telling you guys before anything gaming related is selling but even these vintage like handheld games are really booming right now 
This one actually sold, believe it or not, this one sold for $69.99. Now, when I first picked this up, I think I got it from the thrift for maybe $1.99. So I was super excited when I seen this because when I seen the comps, I seen that they were kind of all over the place. Some people were selling these brand new in the package for 30 bucks. Some were selling it for 20, but I seen some other comps that were priced way, way higher. And of course on Amazon, these are probably selling for even more. So I figured let me just price mine somewhat competitively so I can still get a decent amount of profit on these and these actually did sell on ebay so i'm glad these are going out i made a good amount of profit on this if you guys can find any of these handheld games definitely pick them up because some of the, some of them are not selling for that much profit this one is kind of an outlier others like this one right here this one is selling for probably about 15 to 20 bucks so if you can find any of these games from thrift stores right now for like two or three bucks definitely pick it up it's not a ton of profit but it's a really good it's going to be a quick flip so if you don't mind uh, making some smaller profits and just making money quickly focus on stuff like this and next up is this pair of linen pants from the brand Baird McNutt these uh, I think I picked these up for maybe two or three dollars from Dillard's the Dillard's in my area was closing so they had a huge liquidation sale and all of the pants that I picked up were no more than two dollars and seventy five cents and I believe this was part of that bundle they were either two seventy five or maybe one seventy five so I made a decent amount of profit on these um, right now people are buying I'm, I'm getting more sales on brand new with tags items and this like I said this was just from that huge liquidation haul of stuff that I had so I'm glad that this one sold as quickly as it did I knew around this time of the year is when they would sell so it was a big investment up front at first but I definitely made a decent amount of profit so I'm definitely be on the lookout for any liquidation sales in your area I know right now um, JC Penny is going through bankrupt bankruptcy uh, J crew as well is going through bankruptcy so we might be able to scoop up a lot of stuff on liquidation in our in our respective areas so, because of course wholesale is always an option but liquidation is even better next up we got a pair of waffle racers and these are in a size eight and a half i actually had a few pairs of these and i picked these up from the nike outlet i don't even remember how much i got these for because i know they were definitely on sale so no more than 30 bucks i paid for these now i actually sold them for 115 um i actually just changed the price so the buyer can pick these up these are actually going out to canada and the buyer just asked me to um if i was offering international shipping because the global shipping program was really expensive for them so in order to just convert the sale i did the math even with the cost of shipping um i'm probably going to just make five less dollars than i would if i just shipped them domestically for the same price of a hundred bucks so it is what it is still made a decent amount of profit on these and i'm just glad to see these go because size eight and a half isn't the best size for me sometimes it sits for a very long time and i had a size 11 and a size 12 and these sold those sizes sold a lot faster so i'm glad to see these are gone another item that just sold that i forgot to tell you guys was actually this wee nunchuck i already packaged it up and put the shipping label on here already and this one sold for 9.99 so it's not a ton of profit but the wee nunchucks anything like Wii related Wii controllers anything Nintendo related for real has been selling like crazy for me so just a quick ten dollar uh, transaction probably four or five dollars in profit on there because I believe I had uh, got a bunch of these stuff for free I had so many gaming related stuff in a death pile that I really wasn't excited about listing but times like right now people are buying up gaming stuff like crazy so I just started to list a lot of these things and it's selling so not a ton of profit but it is what it is the small sales still add up I actually had one more order to ship out but that order actually just got canceled the long story short the buyer just experienced some buyer's remorse and they asked me to cancel the order and just a quick tip for you guys that wasn't familiar with this when it comes down to canceling an order it's it's really simple it's really easy but the downside is the fact that the buyer gets their full refund but as the seller we still lose out on that paypal fee now the paypal fee is just about three percent and depending on how much that item costs it could be anywhere between you know 50 cents or it could be as high as maybe five or ten dollars who knows it really just depends on the item but for me the item was 80 bucks so i'll just throw up the the amount that i actually lost on the screen but if this keeps happening you know annually a lot of people are going to continue to just you know kind of shift away from paypal because the thing with paypal is that they don't refund that processing fee and i actually called someone from paypal and they told me the reason why they don't refund the paypal fee 
it's because they already did the service and they processed the payment so if they have to cancel it that uh, re they, they won't be able to refund you that fee so just keep that in mind as well it's it, it sometimes it's a headache but for me I just try to chalk it up as cost of business because cancel orders happen and to be honest I actually prefer to just cancel an order instead of having to deal with a return because sometimes um, buyers either wear the shoes they damage it they ship it back badly and then I won't be able to kind of make the same amount of money so I rather just deal with just quick cancellations as opposed to returns but it is what it is it's just regular cost of business so drop a comment if this is happening to you let me know how your sales are doing in the comment section and if you haven't already make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace they know what i'm on stop with the and give me the strong hey hey let's go Back in the day, and so I can't complain. So I can't complain. For all the times I pray, carnivores don't come take them. Uh, Cause it's popping up opportunists, I can't salute it. They raising red flags instead of raising solutions. I'm trying to do what's best for me. Okay, right hands on the wall because it's destiny. First time I own, but right hand man ain't nothing left for me. I left him, see, you can't hold me back like elementary. What's meant for me? Uh, uh.